Okay, everyone, so just getting ready to start. Just check that everything is working. <coughs> awesome. I've now got to mute it on everything because <laughs> I just heard myself across the board everywhere. It's magical. Um, Okay, <clears throat> so I'm just going to quickly gather some reference images, guys, and then I will get started. So let me have a look. Uh, let's have a little look. Um, um, basically, I'm going to build. Uh, while I'm waiting for people, I'm going to build a sort of like a a playlist uh, of, not a playlist, sorry, a mood board. It's been a long day, everyone. <laughs> so I just want to quickly build a mood board. Um, okay. Because I've got an idea. Okay, so to catch you all up, um, I was basically in, in the art station challenge, and when I was in the challenge, um, I decided. Hold on. I decided that I didn't want to um, continue anymore, um, and I decided because. I basically decided that I, you know, I'm not going to do it because I didn't feel I was ready. Um, I entered in quite early, uh, and you know, kind of went from there. So um, I'm just currently looking at some decent reference images to kind of give me what I would like for um, this character. Okay, so one of the characters I was going to do, I'm just going to kind of go straight into and draw. Um, I basically decided to um to just draw uh what do you call it um a coral mancer so this coral mancer the idea behind this character so i actually invented a whole backstory which hopefully you guys will find interesting so um the idea behind the coral mancer is so the whole theme for the art station challenge was underwater um so my idea was um was basically to um, create a uh, a coral mancer. So it's meant to be a combination between um, earth and water magic. And the idea behind it is that the um, the the character, the coral mancer, um, they're like a younger generation. So the idea was that there was something called the Geomantic Inquisition. This geomantic inquisition were the geomancers, people who obviously use earth magic all the time. Um, and when, uh, you know, when people rebelled from their kind of like thing, an inquisition was set up. And from that inquisition, um, they were kind of hunted down um, and they took to the water. And as they uh, used water, um, what happened was uh, they used uh, sorry earth magic underwater um, they started to learn water magic and from there they created their own sort of like coral golems instead of earth golems so they can function fully underwater so their whole design is going to be based on um, basically like being under the water um, so I'm just looking at some different kind of like spray cans and stuff the idea I want to look at spray cans is because they're meant to be sort of like rebellious kind of youths um, you know that's the whole point of them it's not I really wanted to go sort of like a different way with it um, so you know something different something interesting should be pretty cool um, I'm pretty excited so it should be pretty good um, uh, just uh, so for those that aren't aware, I'm currently streaming on Twitch, on YouTube, and on various other stuff. Um, so at the moment, as I said, keeping it really quick, really simple. Um, I've just got the, I'm just building up the the 
uh, mood board. So I've got kind of a rough idea of what I sort of want to do. This will go on a different page in a moment. Um, and the whole idea is to like kind of get um, a sort of like, I suppose like a good thing to design from. So as I said, I decided um, that I wasn't sort of like ready for the art station challenge. Been a while um, since I'd kind of got into things and stuff like that and back into drawing so I thought <clears throat> hey let's take some time um, and let's really think about what we're doing and kind of address where I'm going with my artwork um, I've got some really good ideas but unfortunately um, those ideas don't always come across so I want to sit there and I want to kind of you know really develop the kind of character and stuff like that so I am using a couple of images um, this is an in entertainment education channel so I'm using a couple of images that are sort of like obviously covered in watermarks so um, but they are literally just little references they're not um, I'm not using the bulk of them I'm changing them considerably so the final one I want is um, in fact no I think that's pretty much everything okay cool so now I can get to the drawing so you guys can see here I've got this to sort of like zoom in for the face got the spray cans got an idea about the bubbles around sort of like the face and stuff like that um, I've got the uh, corals and stuff and this image here I'm actually only using that to portray emotion um, I'm not using that to um, you know to uh, what's it called I'm not using that to um, to draw directly at all so the whole idea of that one is I just want to portray emotion so you guys are gonna have to bear with me a minute um, I have to move myself around quite a bit I got a new computer chair uh, and with that computer chair comes getting used to <laughs> obviously everything so um, yeah if you want to drop in to the chats ask me any questions as we go and stuff like that that's absolutely fine um, always happy to sort of like you know chat to people about what's going on and stuff like that so let's have a little look then okay so what I do is I'd normally take this off just this panel on its own and I move it over to the other side and the reason I do that is so that I've got my reference images readily available for me um, at all times uh, I've got two screens you see so I watch my chats on one side and then I um, I design on the other so the idea behind this, or the idea behind the Art Station Challenge, was to design um, characters and creatures. And I realised that actually, although my creature design can be fairly good, um, my character design really needs to develop. And this is where I'm sort of like, you know, starting to um, build into my myself. Like, you know, I'm trying to um, create something that's just a bit more sort of uh, so uh, one two three four five six seven sort of like half because I want it to be a fairly small female character and then just got to remind myself where bits come up to so uh, that would be kind of there build that down there so at the moment all I'm doing is I'm just kind of quickly blocking in um, where individual aspects go uh, and I really do find this helps quite a lot. Then I'll decide the light source. So I already know that I want to do a top-down light source. Now, and is it going to create sort of like more atmosphere? Um, but what it's going to do is uh, it's going to accurately portray sort of like being under the ocean. Because obviously, when you're under the ocean, um, your top-down views and stuff. Uh, your sorry, your light source is always going to be sort of like top-down and all that, isn't it? Um, the idea behind that is. Uh, Obviously, because light's shining from the surface and stuff. So at the moment, there's going to be a lot of things that are wrong uh, until I kind of bulk them up. Uh, I am thinking about shapes and stuff as I go. I'm obviously thinking about the where everything is placed as I go. But I'm, you know, when it comes to drawing anatomy, even I struggle. I mean, like, you know, <laughs> I think it's one of those things. It's like, you know, you want, you really want to. There's a there's a real toss up between creating. Um, you know, creating characters that are interesting and creating characters that are anatomy correct when you first start out. I think the big problem with me is I've always wanted to make them interesting and not necessarily anatomically correct. So even now I'm starting to look at it, I'm like, uh, that doesn't look right. So I'll just think about it again. So we've got one there. The neck will be quite skinny because she's only a young girl. They're meant to be young in this. So um, potentially 
like you know here's an area for like breast pectoral muscles building into the arms here so I will do this very roughly and then I will build over this afterwards so that's kind of like my 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 end game my big plan so let's build over that there now if you're on I don't know if it's on other platforms that I use but if you're on YouTube I know that there is a um, there is a poll if you wouldn't mind doing that for me I really appreciate it it's just basically whether or not I should do um, like video tutorials and stuff like that about how I create things I feel that this would really help me as well as obviously helping um, other people I mean I do teach this stuff and a lot of the stuff I teach unfortunately I never really get a lot of time to put it into practice so I think it'd be a really good opportunity for me as well as obviously um, you know other people to ask questions and you know build stuff up and all that so I feel that that's kind of starting to work but I might have to kind of I think maybe not I think what I'll do is I'll probably manually shrink up a bit so um, I kind of think it's this part of the torso and maybe the head just needs to kind of really go in a little bit oh, I've done it on the wrong layer that is so painful okay it's fine don't worry um, I'm not worried you shouldn't worry uh, just take the background alt deselect put this background make this background the same color and then this is still going to be awesome so let's just go around the wrong one again sorry guys I am quite tired but basically I decided I really want to get back into my drawing I know I haven't been on for a while um, I know that obviously see that looks wrong again so I think it is maybe just tiniest amount uh, control alt z by the way everyone is how you uh, really go back on things but I think if I do this control t shift maybe literally it's just the tiniest amount but I think I'm gonna kind of like puff this person up ever so slightly um, in certain areas so this is just kind of like a start this is just a base kind of frame and format and stuff like that so let's just have a little look see okay so um, okay just quickly diving through bits and pieces guys just have a little look see what's going on um, what I'm doing is I'm just gonna put it to oh, okay so let's have a little look um, it is kind of really rough with this I'm a little bit dial that down then what we can do is once we got that I can start thinking about you know where I'm going to put it um, scaling it down a little bit I might obviously think about what I'm going to do with the arms and stuff but for the time being uh, you know just need to really build into it and get it looking right because uh, at the moment I don't think it does personally uh, look any good so but the idea of this stream now is like you know I think the problem I had before I was really big into um, you know like how many people were watching and all that kind of stuff and I got kind of obsessed with how many likes I was getting on pieces of artwork and so and then I realized that that's that's just not what it's about um, for me for me it's about like having the opportunity to draw just chatting away to people um, you know seeing what other people are doing um, you know the import the important sort of things in my opinion are that you talk to people you learn from them so you know if you ever want to add your input um, I'm always happy to hear it I think that it's the easiest way to develop is through peer feedback and stuff and as I said because I'm a teacher I'm constantly learning aspects of that side of the world like you know the world as well I really want to sort of like adapt how um, I'm teaching things so hopefully when I do videos they'll be interesting informative and stuff like that I don't just want to do sort of like 
tutorial videos I would really like to do um, I'm going to leave that for the time being I would really like to do sort of uh, what they called um, sort of like lessons like actual lessons like once you've you know practiced this and practiced that and stuff like that I think that'd be really cool to look at and stuff so yeah we'll have to see how that kind of goes so at the moment now I tend to draw people without clothes first and then draw it in after um, mostly because of practice I'm obviously practicing um, like how the uh, human body works so as I'm practicing I think it's really important to like you know really take your time and think about where everything's going now this isn't going to be perfect and I know when I look at this tomorrow or later there'll be problems but but this is all part of the learning curve so that's fine the thing is I always look at it as I'm better than I was <laughs> when I first started learning to draw uh, about seven or so years ago um, it's been slow but it's I've been getting there you know I get to teach people how to draw using the basics and stuff and that's always good fun now see that's not too bad I think the only thing for me is like arms need to be like these parts here need to be slightly different but I think that's not necessarily a bad thing I think there's more to do with um, there's more to do with the um, the placement, how I want it. You know, if this person's moody, I've kind of jutted her hip hip out a bit, so I kind of want that to hit there. So I think what I'll do. So at the moment, these kind of do go down to a belly button, so that's fine. It's kind of what I wanted, um, and I'm not bothering drawing breasts or anything because at the end of the day, I'm putting a hoodie over her, so it's going to be kind of be baggy and stuff anyway. Um, but I'll get into clothes in just a moment. So actually, what I'm thinking about doing. Rather than just erasing that, I might just kind of flip it ever so slightly. Um, kind of do that. There. Once I've done that, I can build more into this. Um, oh, I can hear one of my chats going. Which one is it? Is it Watch Me Work? Uh, so I'm going to have to go from feature. Uh, But yeah, so I think, um, sorry guys, I'm just, uh, just responding to somebody else that I'm talking to. So, okay, right, so what we need to look at is obviously how this hip's at, and I don't like what this arm is doing, so I'm probably going to rotate and move this one as well. So let's do that. Um, what I'm actually looking at is I'm actually looking at another um you know, I'm looking at the reference image. So I'm actually using the mouse now. I don't know what's going on with me today. Um, so yeah, so as I said, I'm fairly tired today. Uh, of course. Uh, enter, control Z. Right. So I am fairly tired today. So my, I don't like making excuses, I'll be honest. But at the same time, sometimes it's just, you know, I'm enjoying this. I'm just taking my time. I'm mellowing out. I'm just relaxing so why is that keep happening oh it's because i've got two layers selected still ah oh, dear me okay so got that there let's just kind of move it around see how it goes see i actually think that looks a bit better or it needs to look a bit better up here like so and yeah i'll probably have a holding like a spray can there because obviously that uh, that hand there needs to grip onto. Um, here it needs to go down. Um, her thumb will go behind there, but the front stuff will kind of go there. As for this one, this one's going to have her hand there, there. And I will look into this more, that bit there. That's going to be like the spray can area, okay? So on a new layer, because I like to keep these layers separate, I'm going to think about 
her hair it's underwater so I need to kind of think about how that's gonna kind of go now I kind of want to keep it big and kind of flowy mostly because uh, you know it, it she's meant to be rebellious and stuff and I kind of like the idea of her having a you know this hoodie um, like on but at the same time have this kind of long flow hair so I am at the moment just kind of drawing over the top of it so she's going to have rolled up sleeves um, they've actually gotten to about there so probably do there there uh, come to about there draw down draw across so this is like taking my time probably down thumb down that a little bit there and then obviously and obviously she's underwater so there are lots of factors that are going to be hit in this that I'm not going to draw in because I really just don't have time well not even that I don't have time I think it's just a matter of um, you know I'd like to get most of it drawn um, today I would like to kind of build into and develop more with these characters um, not just these initial sketches these are just kind of for me to understand what's going on and stuff like that um, I think that is really important so then she's got like the, the that weird kind of pouchy thing there little toggly things there but they actually need to flow because she's underwater <laughs> so there she's going to have a bubble there over her face so she can breathe okay starting to kind of see this sketch coming together it's looking all right I need to think about her facial features as well yeah okay we'll do that right so I'm going to merge this down merge this down I'd like to keep stuff together I'm going to get that there okay so the idea for this as well is that the um, whereas most people have like st staves and staffs and wands um, hmm. excuse me guys sorry um, for me I want my character to have um, like spray cans you know like but they'll just be like aerated spray cans the idea is that these spray cans are um, transfer on please pen pressure pen pressure please tell me you're working okay you are that's good so the idea is I want them to have these kind of uh, how can I describe it I really would and oh, no, actually sorry I'm just talking to myself now um, I would really like them to have that kind of like individuality and stuff that really sets them apart um, as characters and all that so now the idea is I like the idea of her having big hair you know it's shows us like this huge contrast between um, between sort of like the the people who are hunting them and the um, what you call it and the the people that are kind of rebelling you know like free like the long flowing hair is almost like freedom and all that kind of stuff that you kind of associate with it so So I would like to incorporate that definitely. Now, I have been veering away from doing as much line sketching, but in this situation, I really do feel that I would like to um, build up what I'm looking at because I think that sometimes, you know, it can be quite interesting to see what you kind of come up with and stuff. So I've got that there. There. build into that there like so ah and there's the problem see I'm actually building on the wrong layer um, that's fine it's not too much of a concern now I really do want to add a bit in here cheers Reese. I really appreciate that mate I'm just trying to build into this just a bit better than I did before so um, 
yeah, if you are a student watching, by the way, I've got no issues with that. Um, just as long as you're respectful and stuff, which I know you will be. So it's cool. Um, yeah, just building into that there. Yeah, so the idea of this is just get the character looking, like, you know, young, cool, relaxed, all that sort of stuff. Um, Okay, so now the idea of this part of them is more like a diving suit kind of answers of, and actually the feet I kind of wanted to be bare. Um, we're doing the big toes of there. Let's go down, so like so. Um, Right, build into that there. Build across there. Now, I haven't even started to look at the face yet, but I'm actually really happy with how well the uh, how well the the hands are coming along. But I do want to quickly grab, and this will happen occasionally, just a hands on hip. Um, I reference because I think it's really important sometimes to see what that kind of looks like. Now, aha, there is a there is a hands-on hip person here. Now, the first thing I'm observing is my hip placement hand thing is too low, but no worries because actually need to build that there, get that there, that there, kind of like that. Um, hands are not my strong point folks, that's all I'm going to say. Now I think hands I can build back into, that's fine, so long as I've given like the right anatomical space for them, that's fine. Hands, for anyone that wants to know about hands, they're shit. People don't like hands. So, now I get to start thinking about the face, how that's going to look. Now, the idea is I really want to build in, this is actually eyebrows, not eyes, so I really want to build in the eyebrows first. And from there, I really want to, I'm actually going to really overdo it, I really want to build in some very kind of over-expressive eyes, um, because that's something I tend to find a lot of my drones lack, is this kind of, you know, is decent sized kind of eyes uh, with expression. So obviously I need like a bit more on there, build in nose, and then got to build in... Uh, Okay, it's got kind of kind of build in sort of like that. Now I can build a bit more into them. That's not a problem. But for now, it's just kind of loose. It's just it's loose because I want to paint into it now. Okay, kind of looking okay. Got to build in some ears because I really like to ha make sure that I, I like to show ears. Um, build in stuff there, put in stuff there, build in bits and pieces here. Uh, eyes too expressive now, see, it's just craziness. It's just trying to get things right, really. Um, but then at the same time, I don't want them to like too real because then it's like ah boring so let's think I'm gonna get a second maybe do like a probably go back in and redefine a lot of this anyway because I have a really great habit doing that 
Um, so at the moment, because of the air bubble thing, she's looking like a 50 year old woman. Um, but that's fine. We'll come back and address that in a bit. Okay, so coral mancers, underwater, breathing air, sorted. Okay, need to now merge these down. Merge down. Now I'm going to quickly go for file, save as. Just want to make sure that I'm saving this as well. Um, so later on I can. Uh, can demonstrate my kind of progress through things like, like how I've gone through so um, that's okay let's have a little look and see let's go okay so so my light source I've decided is going to come from the but first I want to like really firm up and get rid of a lot of these deadlines. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to paint over. I'm going to use sort of like a really dark color and then I will nullify that color. Reason why is because I'm losing the will a little bit when it comes to how it should be looking. Because I don't want to overstretch as well. So. Build into these, so build that there, build that there, and I'm gonna, you know, I'm keeping this loose, I'm keeping it kind of like tidy. Um, I think that's a really good way of sort of like doing things. Potentially could be down to the ears as well. They probably aren't helping very much. Uh, I might even keep the hair sort of like out of her face a bit more and do it that way instead. Now you'll notice I go more like that, and that's because I'm imagining the hair kind of like you know drifting away in the current sort of thing, um, rather than you know just having the. Now, as it stands, potentially it could also be due to the eyebrow placement. <laughs> because obviously that has an impact on things like how the eyes look and all that. So. You know, we're we're learning still. That's fine. I think you know, little things like this has an impact. So, no, I think. Now I think the big thing that we need to remember when we're looking at this is that the um, the idea is that the, the the you know you decide where the light's coming from and that is where you know you do it. Now, as I said, like you know the only reason I'm spending so long with the line work today is because I'm trying to practice certain elements of what it is I'm doing. So I want to. Uh, you know, think about the character development and think about everything and how that's all working together. So, um, you know, hopefully this is all starting to you know, come together a little bit more. As I said, though, you know, like things like this aren't really my uh, my strong suit. I, I'm not really much of a character designer as much as I am a, um, you know, creature designer. I love designing creatures. So, 
this is a weakness or a weak area for me or an area of development for me and that's where I want to kind of develop myself so and I think it's important to identify those I don't think anyone is amazing at everything some of the best environment artists will tell you that you know they'd like to go and design like characters and creatures and stuff like that and some of the best creature artists will tell you that they want to be able to design like interfaces and stuff like that so really you can't I suppose you can't help but sometimes um, you know sit there and go oh, I need to develop this that and the other I think it's fine I think it's just being aware of those points so that you know where it is you need to develop and why um, you want to develop it that's the important thing you know it's where you got to kind of like break it down and remember and stuff is why more than anything so let's build into all of this here now I'd love to build a bit more into that there now, as I said, like, you know, I'm doing more detail than I usually would, um, more for myself, uh, but as well, I'm kind of seeing this as like a opportunity cartoon style sort of thing, um, build into bits and pieces, and it's also something I really enjoy, I think, you know, like, designing characters, like, I haven't designed some in ages, but it doesn't mean I don't you know, I, I haven't in the past and I don't still enjoy doing it, you know. Um, now, what I've done is too many crinkles on that side, really, but that's fine. I can live with that. As I said, it's all kind of like learning and practice, so. Which we never stop doing, or we should never stop doing, you know. Um, now, as I said, like the hands are lacking, so I will <laughs> I will address that shortly. But I don't like hands, so I'm not going to rush into doing them. Now she's obviously wearing a hoodie underwater, which is a strange one, um, but I'm okay with it. <laughs> So that's good. So just let you all make you all aware. I'll probably be going on the stream till about nine o'clock. I think that's a good idea. Um, I can't remember what my time frame for watch me work is. Uh, I always forget the time, as in like the whether I'm meant to be doing Central Time or probably Central Time. But I'm GMT, so GMT plus one. So I uh, obviously get a little bit lost. With that one that's fine now I'm actually there are a lot of artists that kind of like uh, inspire me with character and creature design stuff character design in in particular is Cyrene um, on Netflix she's absolutely fantastic to follow if you're into your character designs and stuff like that I really like her character she's got such a wonderful way of like designing and showing off her characters um, you know and she draws them all so quickly so quickly and that's I think that's the big thing that kind of amazes me with a lot of these character artists is how quickly they can I suppose it's the same speed in which I would get a creature together though in a lot of ways um, but at the same time you know you have those moments you're like jeez how have they managed that <laughs> I think that's a, that's like the big one for me really um, you know that sort of stuff. Now, as I said, like I want to keep them barefooted. I'm going to kind of build a coral set of coral rocks that she's going to be standing on. I want some kind of in the background. I need to start thinking about that now and kind of how that's going to bring the piece together. Um, now, these are going to really lack detail uh, because obviously they're not meant to draw too much focus. They're meant to be fairly simple. I'm going to use them as kind of like a bed, a basis for stuff. So she's standing on the rocks there. Now, the idea is that the light is going to come from here. So I really hope that gives the right kind of message and stuff. So now I want to start thinking about the grayscale elements and how I'm going to actually build into the piece. So that's a nice tidied up line work. So let's just save as. Um, you will notice I do 
a lot of saving now, uh, a lot more than I used to do. Good practice and all that. But now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm going to keep a solid brush, but I just want to kind of pick out a palette. Um, the palette's going to be sort of on an A4 piece of paper, and I'm going to go for sort of my darker, lighter stuff. So remember. Well, a lot of the things that I didn't realise is you should never use sort of like an absolute black and stuff like that. Like you can make things look a lot darker than they actually are. Um, you should also have like varying shades within each sort of set. So these will be my shadows, uh, my shadow kind of values. Um, from there, as you can see, there's a nice kind of range across there. Then I want some sort of like mid-tone values. So get a bit of like a lighter mid-tone a uh, bit more on there and just a tiny whiny bit more and then finally I want to get obviously my highlights 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 now the highlights I tend to jump a little bit higher because I really like my highlights to have a lot of impact when I'm drawing so and then one more will be see I never even get close to white and that's because basically you can work with nine or ten values or often to not and what I tend to do is I tend to leave like this kind of value here it's like my tenth value if I desperately need it so I'll put that there as like a backup but for the time being um, you know I think get some sort of like shadow in there just kind of work with it quite lightly quite loosely um, and just see how we go really um, build in sort of like where I want things to kind of be shadowy, where I want things to be lighter. We'll go from there. Um, you know, probably work in a bit more of that line work in there. But as I said, like you know, I think a lot of the time you just go for it, really. So I will build in sort of like a base for uh, you know where I want the shadow. And then from there, get a bit of the, the dark will come in as well. So, because obviously that's not dark enough at all. So, I go here, get that one, the even darker one. Start thinking about how that's going to build in there, how that's going to build around here. Now, what I'm noticing and what I might need to do is I might need to draw under the line work so more like um, that for now and I think it'll be better because it's going to keep things separate for a while um, which will help me out a fair bit so but it's alright as I said like so I've got to imagine the light is shining on the top um, and that's going to have a really big impact so I can actually use if I'm keeping my line work like that use a nice big brush not as big as I've just made it but I can use a nice big brush and I can just sort of like, you know, um, block in where shadow and stuff's going to be. There we go. Okay, so like obviously here area, um, kind of under arms, because it's coming on the top. So I want to make sure that, uh, and as I said, like I can really build into this and get things looking fairly decent, fairly quickly um, with just by just by adding the right values I guess at the right times and that so as I said but there's going to be areas for highlights there's going to be areas for darker areas and stuff like that so um, but as I said I want it kind of like top down it adds kind of like intimidation aspect and makes it look really cool um, and also it gives me a chance to put in sort of like my oops my highlights and stuff like that so go here Ooh, where are we at there we go oh that one right obviously start well to highlight to highlight so this is where obviously I will go for more than of the highlight in the mid-tone area uh, here we go that's a bit better um, because I said it's gonna be fairly dark and stuff it's gonna have more of something than another and I still obviously like blend after I'm done so I still make sure it's all kind of blended together um, but the highlight highlights will still come in handy because they are my really good stuff that kind of really shows up and jazzes things up a little bit um, 
shrink this down for the face get that kind of oh look got eyebrows shown in there bit of light here bit of light there there bit on the nose bit on the mouth and stuff bit on the chin bit on the cheekbones where it's hitting there but as I said like you know we still got the darker areas as well that are going to come in sort of like build into them ever so slightly but as I said we've got an even darker one still and this one's like you know to really emphasize in certain areas where that shadow is kind of like com coming in so works nicely hey back mask how you doing buddy so if I ever talk to someone and they're not in your chat they're most probably in one of my other chats so please be prepared for that um, that does happen from time to time so build that there, build that there. Now, as I said, like I'm keeping it really loose at the moment. Once I've done enough of this, I will start kind of like painting it on. But I need to grab what I really need to grab. So I need to grab my darker mid tone, and I need to start going all over the the drawing and stuff, and start thinking about where things are going and what they're doing and all that jazz. So and then I can start blending and getting it all looking lovely and awesome. Okay, so build into the face here. The face is going to be the one that takes the longest to kind of sort out and stuff. But other than that, I mean, I'm kind of happy with how well this is going so far. I mean, touch wood and everything, because you know it's like uh, I don't really want to jinx it. But at the same time, it's going quite well. Um, had a ding on my something. Watch me work. Good afternoon. Hello. Hello there. Alright, so I'm, I've matched with somebody else on Watch Me Work now, which is always cool. Um, you know, four people watching there, two people watching in Twitch. Alright, this is going nicely. So, as you can see, the only thing that's really lacking at the moment that's making a huge difference is the stupid hands. Um, but that is fine, I can work with that. So let's just now, I want to start blending some of those values. Now, I noticed that yes, you can have those values, but there is a point where you want to put on transfer and you want to start blending stuff. Because otherwise, I don't personally feel it works very well. Um, but that's just me, you know, it's not, uh, not true for everyone. So don't take it as fact. And the reason I do that is because it still keeps me within a value range. So I don't go darker or lighter than what you've seen. I stick with in that value range, and that does make a huge difference. So, um, but what it's going to do is going to allow me to um, you know, build into stuff, get it looking really nice, get it looking really cool. So, okay. As I said, I'm going to build into this here. Now, I probably will go into it and I probably will like firm up more of the lines, draw it in as if it was like kind of like a comic e book style. Um, at the moment, it's I'm keeping it fairly simple. So, as I said, I'm just trying to really practice and really kind of drill home that side of things for myself. Um, you know, and I think that is important to do when you're drawing. Uh, make sure that you are kind of, you know, practicing, pushing yourself out there. Um, and never give up on it, you know, I think that's one of the worst things you can ever do is give up when you're drawing. I hate giving up when I'm drawing, you know, like it's one of the most unsatisfying things when you give up because you, you, you've let some, you've let an, like, you know, you've let an activity that you love defeat you and there's nothing worse than that, ever. <laughs> so, um, yeah, as I said, I'm going to take my time because you can start to see how that sleeve there is starting to look all right you know okie dokie man I'll, I'll probably still be here till about half nine um enjoy walking the dog and stuff it sounds pretty awesome i would love to have a dog to walk i think that'd be really cool so yeah i think um just all about building into stuff like you know taking your time building it identifying where maybe you need to improve on a certain area and then improving on it you know don't be afraid to improve on it 
and once you're done you know don't be afraid to revisit old stuff as well that's a really good idea um, I don't revisit nearly as much stuff as I should uh, and it does make a huge difference um, in my personal opinion you know revisit the old stuff it's all good um, so get a bit of blending on there Na -di -da, di -da -da -da. you know I think I've decided that my new year's resolution though is to uh, continually stream twice a week from now until 2019 so when 2018 starts I'm obviously going to still do it all through 2017 that's kind of like my big goal I think guys so you know you'll hopefully be seeing a lot more of me coming up very soon um, you know the plan the plan is solid the plan is good we're gonna really build into this and stuff <laughs> so at the moment so one thing I'm observing as I'm drawing this is I am adding values to things so they're starting to look 3d and stuff but it's also looking very fluffy so how we'll secure that up in a bit is I will in particular um, I will start to think about <coughs> excuse me sharpening certain areas and stuff like that I think that will make a big difference so look that's there that's potentially go up there so yeah so this is where I might say to myself okay like highlights get the darkest highlight start thinking about building that into there because obviously as I said like I didn't know where I wanted the highlights to go so there are certain points already that I'm starting to identify that I could put those highlights in so I go kind of there and I can blend them in after but what that does is that gives like a nice start contrast so here where it's meant to be a bit darker and stuff um, compared to here where it's just catching the light right, you start to see there's a huge difference again it's like you know where the light is shining down obviously where her um her breasts are kind of like out that's where you're going to start seeing them first so um you want to be like careful on that front with that so um but as i said you know i've got loads of stuff to do clean up blending all that jazz so let's just keep working at it see how we go i think i'm going to work on the face next because i and the hair because i feel that if i do that i'm going to start getting a few better ideas um regarding the the makeup of the character and stuff because at the moment problem i'm having is so really useful tip that was kind of given when i was looking at the art station challenge initially um by one of the judges was the um was that you should try and uh you know give give character and what they meant by that is nothing like um you know not that people don't include characters that you know you draw a standard person not in a pose and anything like that kind of like what i've done now you lack that character you lack that interesting aspect that kind of makes the character stand out and that's what i realized i'm really lacking in so at the moment i am just working on anatomy so my plan is yes like you know it's gonna lack areas it's gonna lack aspects but i'm okay with that because i'm learning something new right but then i thought about it and i was like okay so what can i do next so i might i mean the next thing i'm going to draw is the coral golem but then I'm potentially going to come back and revisit this character again. Um, but think about what pose can I put her in, you know, where can I put it? And I realise that a lot of people who maybe do something like uh, OCs and stuff like that, I've noticed a lot of people doing that online. But the one thing I will say is that although I'm not a fan of like the OC kind of concept that you've got this one character you constantly draw, and to me that is a love of drawing because, you know, your OC isn't always going to get you a, it could i'm not saying it won't but it's not always going to get you a job like designing things like creatively for games which is what i want to do you know like i think my lecturers always used to say to me you know you need to show variation in your design stuff however you can learn a lot from doing what they do you know um and i mean that you know they learn about how to draw different emotions and stuff and they could really relate because their own you know their own characters um which is great I, I really respect that and i really like that aspect of um really like that aspect of of that kind of side of things and i really do think that makes a huge difference um but i always seem to get into kind of these sorts of topics and really like as i said like the it's not 
I'm not passing judgment on anything whatsoever. I have preferences, just like everybody else here has preferences and stuff. And I think that's where you got to kind of really sit down and go, yeah, I I get that. You know, I get that some people are going to be into other things to others, and it's going to have different impacts. I mean, like you know, for example, OCs. If you get a, uh, so if there's one that I really like called uh, Collicott, and she does, uh, I think it's Collicott. I think that's how you say it. She does Amad. Amad, oh, I can never say it. Amadeus, um, and lots of other characters that kind of go in that realm. So she is drawing lots of other characters too. But the one thing I will say is that her characters are flawless. You know, they're they're brilliant. They're really well designed. She can draw them very quickly uh, in a short amount of time. She really builds a story for them and stuff. So her characters have phenomenal kind of like uh, backstory and stuff like that to them. And I think that's lovely. And I think it's wonderful when you can do something like that because actually yeah that's what you sort of want from your characters now as you can see it's very fluffy but that's because i haven't uh turned off the transfer yet so as i do that but the important thing is to see that things are taking shape yeah so that's like your important thing so i actually use transfer less and less now compared to when how much i did when i first started out uh mostly because i realized that you know you can achieve much more by um by actually using a harder brush and stuff and I think that is really important um, now I'm actually going for a lot more darker uh, as I said like you know working on character design working on how things look how things are designed and one thing in particular is obviously uh, that, that really drills home what your character looks like, how well your character is designed is just eyes. I mean, like eyes carry so much when it comes to your characters. I think it's a, uh, you know, something to really think about. Now, I've got into a real habit of. Uh, of really building this stuff to, <laughs> to kind of together you know like I, I absolutely love thinking about character designs and stuff like that now uh, more than I did when I as I said when I first started out um, but I think just trying to really draw into this but as you can see like the eye the plan starting to come together a little bit so the lips aren't really working but that's fine um as i said like you know i think they can be refined they can be polished off and i think things can change uh aspects here are going to be fine they just need to be blended a bit more um build the neck back in build the certain aspects here back in uh build there build there right now as i said like i wanted to do like the face and i wanted to do the face because i want to check now at the moment the background really isn't popping much um for me so what i'm going to do is actually going to uh, trying to think i'm going to keep that there for a little while longer um just trying to think how i could actually uh, polish this up get it looking decent so um let's have a little look see okay now right always takes me a little while to figure so the hair's a bit too bold at the moment and obviously you've got darker elements on the eyes and stuff which are fine but i think this is where i'm having problems so the background is basically either not bright enough or not dark enough so i need to look at that but i can do that fairly easily as we go um i just need to get the highlights that we have 
and actually apply a few just very lightly to everything and then I will blend these highlights you see um, and it is all about that kind of blending it in afterwards <laughs> for me um, you know taking the time to and I mean really taking the time to blend it in uh, make sure it looks all right but as I said so long as you're f hitting that value range I tend to find you're all right now I know that's not how it's supposed to work I know that you're supposed to work with just those values but I kind of like it the way I do it at the moment I'm not saying it's right but I'm saying that I you know I've not been told it's wrong either. <laughs> it's kind of like the the right way of looking at it, I guess. Um, I think that is really key when you look at stuff. I mean, I, I always see it as I'm always improving and I always try and push myself. And this is basically, they always say that when you do stuff, it should be meaningful practice. So you shouldn't just be sitting there and going, ah, okay, I'm going to do the easiest thing possible. You should be trying to do something challenging. And you will find parts where excuse me you will find parts where maybe you're not paying as much attention to something as you initially could um but that's fine you know you're not going to be able to pay attention to all of it because your brain only stays focused for a certain amount of time but that's why i really like doing my live streaming because actually I tend to find that i get the opportunity um to talk to you guys which gives me as i said like an opportunity to focus more on what i'm doing because when you're talking to someone else through your idea um you know you you do pay a lot more attention to what you're doing and uh how you're doing it which helps a lot as well that's why i think like live streaming and stuff is a fantastic thing for our industry you know i think it really does help a lot of people get across and like the thing is i'm seeing more and more artists do it now which is great as well you know and the the cool thing is as well there's a huge obviously those of you that are watching know this already but there's this huge obviously like following of uh of people who who love watching um live streams as well which is even cooler so thank you guys for that i really do appreciate that right so yeah but as i said please don't be afraid to uh those of you that are on youtube or those of you that have access to my videos uh poll please don't be afraid to sort of like suggest where uh, whether you'd like to see those video tutorials so all I'm asking is uh, on the poll is that would you like me to start creating video tutorials for my channel so have the live streaming still but also have like you know the the channel uh, tutorial that would help quite a lot for a lot of people I think um, if I could because I the thing is because I'm quite new to a lot of stuff myself sometimes I think it does mean that I can teach people in a more suppose like I can cover it in a way that you wouldn't normally think of it or in a way that is more relative to a beginner um, I think it's great when you are um, when you are you know really good at something but I think if you, some people are really good at stuff but they're not necessarily built to be teachers and I don't mean that in a nasty way but I think you can be really good at something and not know how to uh, how to convey that into words you know you can sit there and be like what how do you you know, how do you do X, Y, and, and Z, you know? Um, so. Okay, so. As you can see, it's looking a bit better than it was. So I'm trying to get a bit more of the... Now what I'm doing here, I obviously want to, now although there is going to be shadow sort of like under the eyes and stuff, I still want the eyes to kind of stand out, I still want the eyes to kind of pop because, as I said, like, that is where you've got that kind of, almost like that soul, you know, like, in the eyes. Um, 
And that is where I really want to. Okay, so. Build that into there. Oof, can't believe it's 8 o'clock already, guys. We're at like a, you know, we're in, we're an hour in. It's looking good so far. I think we're an hour in. Is that? Oh, yeah, hour and seven minutes. Not doing too bad. Not doing too bad. Um, <laughs> so. Right, okay. Right, so let's have a little look see. Get that bill in there. So it's about as well trying to soften. There's not going to be like a necessarily going to be like an edge to the face in the way that we think we see it. So not just going to be that firm line that differentiates the edge and stuff. Like a lot of the time. We've got that kind of building through there. Right. See, as you can see, I've kind of maybe overdone the highlights a little bit, but I'm okay with that. Um, I can easily blend them out if I want to, or maybe that's kind of like the magical kind of feel I'm going for. Um, as it stands, I will come back around to it once other stuff has started to kind of fall into place, because at the moment it's kind of... It's working, but slowly working. So let's get some of the hair sort of like drawn in, sorted and stuff as well. Um, you know, really build into that. Get that looking jazzy. Um, Okay, so okay, right. Now I'm really highlighting the hair because I think that's actually going to like dull down a lot of what's going on with the face so it's really important to do. Um, and as I said like it won't look right straight away you have to build into these things like work around them and stuff so it didn't happen straight away it's not particularly but I'm not really bothered you know I think at the end of the day um could get this looking could be a lot worse <laughs> excuse me okay I mean, really, I think what I've started to do as well is I've started to look at things and go, I achieved this in this amount of time. And then I said, OK, oh, wow. Like, sometimes I have to say it to myself again, you know, like, I'm like, oh, I achieved this in this amount of time. Like, That's really impressive for me, you know, like sometimes you've got to sort of say, you know, for an hour and 12 minutes, this isn't like bad at all. This is like really good amounts of work. And I think that's what you know i would advise to all of you is like you know even if you don't live stream like i'm doing now 
you know, time how long it takes you to do something, then actually sit there and go to yourself, well, do you know what? I only spent this amount of time or something. I mean, like, you know, an hour, it takes me an hour to cook a meal. You know, it takes me an hour to, like, uh, you know, clean my house. I mean, if I watch two episodes of, like, Always Sunny in Philadelphia, which I love to watch and stuff, that's, like, you know, that's 40 minutes. So it's sort of like, you know, you kind of, if you compare it to what you, you know, you look at what you're actually able to do in... Um, in the time you kind of allot yourself, you start to realise you're a lot better than you first thought. You just never really had much of a chance to spend the time you wanted to on stuff. I think that's fine as well. I think it just takes a little while to kind of get used to that and all that sort of stuff. So I'll zoom out in a minute and see how this is all looking. So build that to there. Now, as I said, like you know, things are slowly building on this. <laughs> the um, the hair isn't looking particularly brilliant, but that's fine. Oops. No, don't want that. There we go. Now the trick with that would be just to. I think it's sh more shrinking the highlighted areas, but. I know I was originally going to grow them, but I think sometimes it's fine. You can you can go back on yourself and art. That's the thing. You can kind of say, yeah, but I decided I wanted to do X. <laughs> so okay, so get that there. Give that, that, there. Um, going to leave the hair for a second, go to something else, because I can. Sometimes it's good to take a short break from whatever it was you were doing and just do something that you think, and I say think, <laughs> you think is going to be a little bit easier. Um, certain parts of this, I'm going to just darken down ever so slightly. Um, because I can, because I can, because I can. Now, I must admit, since I started learning more about, uh, I've had to teach a lot of sort of like media aspects to my level three year ones and stuff. Since I've started learning a bit more about that, start to realise the benefits that can have when you're, you know, when when you're creating artwork and stuff. Actually, gives you a lot of insight to things like camera angles, lighting, composition, um, and really, that's what's like awesome about learning something new you don't really know how it's going to impact you until you've learnt it um so for me you know i for you know i didn't really care about uh well not i didn't care about i didn't really want to understand i think um and then it was only when i really sort of sat there and went do you know what no i'm going to push myself to understand this that i went oh okay yeah i can see there's a lot of things that i would deem relevant here you know like a lot of things that i think hey Okay, that's kind of that's kind of cool. Um, I mean, as I said, this isn't like the best piece of work I've ever done, but uh, it's something. <laughs> so I'm going to quickly save it as a work in progress, um, and then I'm going to merge layers together, do a bit of clean up, do a bit. Of uh, value correction and go from there try and maybe like switch around the background ever so slightly so as you can see it's starting to look a bit it's just a bit too um, dark at the moment so I will have to do some clean up but what I'm going to do I'm going to uh, image adjustments hue and saturation See, that, to me, is going to look better. So, the only thing I need to do, as I said, is I will still need to do clean up, which should be fairly standard. No, that's not what I wanted. Uh, tolerances, two. And that's going to really take away 
a lot of stuff. Maybe I make that 12. Not 102, 12. There we go. 12, there we go. Okay, right. Now, I will probably clean, as I said, I'm going to clean this up manually. But the reason is I really want that face to kind of like pop and stand out. And the best way to do that is to have dark with sort of like a lightish background. But as I said, like there's nothing that can't be fixed there. It's just, um, it just takes a bit of time and stuff. So we'll just kind of go through it. We'll adapt it a little bit here, there and everywhere. And once I've done that and I'm happy with it, I will, uh, I will, sugar, make sure you're actually using a brush tool and stuff, guys. Won't you? Um, yeah, once I'm happy with it, but there's a bloody height. Right, one wrong layer, that's why. Right, um, once I'm happy with sort of like where I'm at with things, then I will, I will blend and sort and blendy sort everything. Um, see, the trick is for me is I just want to make sure that I've got um, I want to make sure that I've got everything like hair and all that sorted and done but I will have obviously like individual strands flowing out of this kind of bulk here and this sort of stuff needs to be fixed up a little bit and I want to blend the face across as well and get that looking a little bit better because at the moment it looks like she's got a moustache if you zoom out she doesn't have a moustache she just uh, she just has varying aspects of her so as I said though for an hour and 20 minutes in I'm not doing too bad and I do have to keep reminding myself that yes because if I don't I'd lose the will because um, sometimes I think it is really difficult you sort of sit there and you go oh man like I could have done so much better in <laughs> in that time you know um, but it's fine so what I'm doing now is I'm just going over and making sure, like wholeheartedly, that the uh, <laughs> that I have everything I need. Okay. Right. Now. When I say that, I just mean I'm just making sure because I'm going to do I want to do a clipping layer, but to do a clipping layer, I need to make sure that everything, hair, all sorts of jazz there has all got kind of like a value attached to it already. So when I draw into it, um, you know, it, it works basically. So. Now, as you can see, a lot of the stuff I've got is fluffy. It's not very good yet, but this is why we do it. What's really cool? You can you can be specific on what parts are cool, and then I can kind of help out with what I've actually done. This is just referring to somebody I'm chatting to on YouTube, everyone. So, um. Yeah, um, with regards to the colour black mask, um, I am building my way forward into that with this piece here. Um, but what I'm going to do today is I'm probably going to just... Uh, the reason is I'm practising values quite a lot. Um, so I realise that colour is useless without value. And, uh, um, you know, that is one thing that I, I really need to work on for myself is actually the values. Um that are being created and stuff like that. So, um, sort of like a big one for me at the moment. Uh, but once I'm confident with this piece and I'm happy with the values and all that, I will be um, painting it, yeah. I'll be adding color to it. So it'll be fairly easy, you know. Um, I think that's the, the point I wanna make for it. So, um, but at the moment, I'm just kinda trying to uh, defluff it is that the correct way to describe what I'm doing right now uh, you know I really want to just sharpen stuff up 
and get things looking right. I feel like some of it just isn't looking particularly correct. So. That's alright. We're getting there. We are getting there. I feel that's still going to look sort of mustachy. So. Let's make sure that this bottom one is there and then I will build into a I'll build a sort of like darker colour for the now there's a lot of anatomical stuff that is incorrect in this piece okay and I want to address them this time but my plan is to just address every time just work on getting kind of stronger better images and working into things that way I don't think that sitting there and dwelling on stuff every single time is necessarily going to be beneficial to myself or what I'm trying to do so the idea is as follows just kind of just keep building into stuff really um, you know but hopefully, hopefully Black Mask, I'll, I'll be able to get some colour into this one, uh, you know, and get it kind of looking fairly good. Because um, I don't, uh, I agree with you, like, I want to start putting colour back into my work. I want to start, see, developing that in there, really showing it off. Because I like colour in my work as well, you know, I don't always like doing this grayscale stuff. I think a lot of the times it's it gets a bit boring, doesn't it? Um, as I said, the joy of using like a hard brush, you can get rid of a lot of the fluff that you kind of. <laughs> He accidentally end up with and I think that's where like you know in particular like the hair in this one is starting to kind of go wrong a little bit excuse me um, it's not that I've got anything against fluff it's just in this situation fluff doesn't work now I do need to obviously go through and like firm things up again just a little bit more but the idea Thank you. I knew that Horizon you'd like Horizon Zero Dawn. So for those of you that are wondering, uh, Black Mask on Twitch has finally got Horizon Zero Dawn. Has played it. I told him it was really good, and for ages he he put it off and he didn't sell his you know his shoes or his uh, uh you know or, or anything to buy it. You know he thought that food was more important. Well, showed him. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. I like to joke. They're not very good jokes, but I roll with them because I am me and I'm hilarious. Now, as I said, this isn't looking too bad. I'm probably going to... Um, for my Instagram, I'm probably just going to include the face for the time being, because as I said, like you know, I'm still getting there, so I'm completely happy with everything that's kind of I'm drawing at the moment. Um, but I just kind of want to be you know, pushing myself to draw just that little bit longer uh, for that, you know, why and why not? Yeah, I think that's where I really want to be with my drawing is be happy to draw for hours and just enjoy it but at the moment this is a push for me I haven't drawn this long in ages guys so you know you're getting to see this is like a history in the making right now you're welcome what is Persona 5 like because I am I am at odds of whether or not it's worth buying I've seen a lot of positive things about Persona 5 to be fair um, but I've not really had a chance to look into it very much I 
again, I think those lips really aren't helping my character. Right, new layer. Up there, build on top there, build on to that there, there, Oh wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, Persona Five sounds interesting. I'll I'll, uh, I'll potentially have to give that a look and see what it's like for myself. Then I think um, a big one for me at the moment has actually been I've been playing the new Pokemon, everyone, and I'll be honest, I I'm still people keep telling me that it is different to the. Uh, to the other one, the like original Sun and Moon and stuff. I personally don't see it. <laughs> I'm still trying to see it, but I personally do not see it. So somebody could explain to me. Apparently it's all in the post game, but I don't think you should market something as a new game if you're only going to change the post game. That just sounds like DLC to me, but whatever. You know? Whatever. I don't think it looks particularly very good. And that's me saying it, you know, and if it's me saying it, you kind of know that's a worrying thing because I am a huge Pokemon fanboy. So, uh, you know. Okay. Keep it going, keep it going. What are we on? Right. So I think I figured out that that needed to be lighter and that's making a difference to how the rest of this looks and then I can build more into that and stuff like that as well, get more flowing around, around, hair's meant to just be wild and crazy folks so if you are wondering what I'm doing I'm just experimenting with it. Um, I wish I'd stop clicking the windows instead of alt. That'd be really nice. Okay. Now the reason I'm giving that kind of like there's going to be a blend between highlight and the dark here is because actually it's a thick material, it's not meant to be um, obviously like you know just kind of fading off and that, I think that's where I need to think about that. Now I am just quickly drawing over this bit, I need to make sure that I remember um, what I'm doing for hand. Uh, now, as you can see, it's starting to come together again. It's not filled in there. Now, I'll probably have like a special symbol or something here for coral mounters, but I haven't decided what yet. Oh, that could be good. Again, that's what people were talking about, like, you know, making sure you have that kind of uh, 
almost that personal element that you know characters have and can use and all that it's be pretty cool build that there, build that there build that there And you know, as I said, I'm kind of happy with how this one's coming along. I feel like the anatomy is a lot stronger than it has been in the past. You know, thumbnail is looking better than it was, although I'm still not happy with the hands. Uh, the face itself is very highlighted, and I don't know if it really works, but we will have to see. What's my plan for future streams? Okay, so I am sticking with this theme for a while. And the reason I'm sticking with this theme for a while is because... I want to, um, I really, really, really want to uh, develop my character's design stuff, okay? So I'll be doing that. I also want to start, and I don't know, um, Black Mask, you can actually check for me, to be fair. Can you see my uh, poll that I've got on my video, or is that just on YouTube, I wonder? It's probably just on YouTube, I'm thinking. Can you see the poll? If you can see the poll, I'm thinking about like adding. Uh, I know I've talked about it for a while, but I am actually thinking now. I'm feeling a lot like more myself. I'm thinking about adding a, um, a a set of tutorials to my channel that kind of like really showcase um, what what I can do and you know what I can teach and stuff like that. Um, and then from there, from there. Um, we start looking at like the 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 end game, you know, the 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 better stuff, the things that I can kind of give to people and stuff like that. Now, no poll. Okay, well, on YouTube there is a poll about whether I should do tutorials or not, and I think regardless, I think I'm going to go for it because I think that um, I honestly think that you know, like, why not? Like, you know, I think if people don't want to watch them, they don't have to. But I think as well, we encourage people to uh, have a look, see. Um, because as I said, like you know, I'm I'm not like people might not want to watch a stream. They might rather um, watch a quick tutorial and stuff. I'm getting a lot better at creating them uh, with the college now as well. So uh, I think that's a a good way forward. Definitely. Now I'm really trying to create this hair quite wild and out there because I'm trying to trying to see how it's going to look and I think I'd rather build it into things this way but I do need to start thinking about how am I going to really make this face kind of pop and stand out. I mean as it stands it's looking interesting. Yeah, I mean, I could do. I, I'm, I'm quite happy though. I've had, uh, I've had uh, one yes, and it was from myself. So uh, <laughs> I think, uh, you know, I'm not too worried on that front. I think it's looking all right. Um, you know, shit happens. You just kind of roll with those punches. Um. And, and go down that front I guess but I'm alright with it uh, I think I'll just do it anyway as I said see how I go um, I'm really work into it and just kind of go for it I guess why not it'll be good fun um, be interesting to start, sort of see whether people actually watch him in fact I think it was earlier in my channel one of the things that's most watched is believe it or not a um, a tutorial that I did with my camera phone like uh, ages ago um, and I think that's kind of where I you know where I'm sort of seeing things go because I'm like well I'd like to I'd like to do a bit more with it so Yeah. 
Now, as you can see, I'm using sort of like really solid colours at the moment. Um, idea being is that I can blend, but I can't like you know I hate I can't see what I'm doing if it's all soft all the time. Um, the world is my canvas. Yeah, you are right. I I agree. Let's let's roll with that. I think it's pretty pretty poetic. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you that one black mask. That's you know. We're talking poetry in motion right now. Now, what I'm actually going to do, because I really am struggling with these lips at the moment, I think they are a letdown. I'm going to paint over the lips, and I'm going to redo the lips. Now, I'm thinking... Smaller kind of lips that really give the... Give that kind of pouty expression but still have that kind of uh, interesting look to them hmm. I think they look better already um, I'll be honest here you know <laughs> much better okay so uh, oh, I do need to let's go uh, that need to grab a bit of the highlight. Go over there. That's a bit better. I think. Yeah, it's not, but I don't really care anymore. Right, okay, so um Okay, so it's starting to slowly come together, I think. As I said, it's not looking amazing, but then... I'm not too worried, as I said. I've not been drawing on it for too long. Um, now, I have kind of started to observe that... I've not... I've, shied away from being dark with things again which is not good because you got lots of dark up here and stuff you need to really showcase that across your whole um piece and stuff so as i said like the hair starting to flow starting to come out starting to look jazzy starting to feel jazzy um and as i said that's kind of what i wanted like you know i really want this hair to be like wild um underwater kind of hair underwater bed hair so but as I said I want a hoodie I want a hoodie as well this is where it all gets kind of a bit weird really isn't it but I won't be able to draw for much longer guys I think I'm gonna have to uh, work my way, way into calling it a night soon I'm getting quite tired um, I feel I do need that kind of time for myself still uh, to just kind of unwind relax a little bit so I'll probably call it there in a little bit but what I'm going to do I've got another stream of Thursday rather than do the golem I think I'm going to carry on with this I would like to um, you know I would really like to like take this further I want to think about what to do with the arms I don't feel they tell much of a story uh, hands in particular but I'm kind of happy with the face I feel that this has really come along nicely so um, we're going to leave it there for now. Um, I'm going to thank you all for like tuning in and, and stuff. And I'm going to sort of say like I will see you guys on Thursday at 7 o'clock. So, um, yeah, hopefully um, 
hopefully you guys enjoyed this stream you know let me know if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe to my channels that'd be really great if you're on twitch just click subscribe if you're on youtube click uh click so subscribe and all that kind of stuff um i'm really confused this message is held for review oh do i get messages like that who knew that's craziness um but yeah i will uh thanks guys and i will see you all very soon take care and see you on thursday nine o'clock take care and bye